was good, you know, but <laughs> it's not the end of the Big 12, so you can't really think about that. You just got to go out and play every night. Because now we have the target on our back that we're in first place, and, you know, guys want that spot. So we just have to go out every night and compete. And, Rodney, uh, the other day you said that you guys felt like you deserved to be in first place, and all you had to do was prove it. How did you guys prove it tonight, and do you think that you did? Just going out, you know, just giving their all, you know, um, guys were all over, you know, um, defensive, we had a, a couple of really great defensive possessions, you know, um, we had two shot clock violations in the first half, you know, so I just felt like we went out and just competed and just played hard for basketball. And you felt like you proved it? Yeah. Ronnie, there were a couple times today where after baskets you celebrated a little bit, seemed like you were having a good time with the crowd going crazy. Is that just a, a special moment for you to know that you, know, you guys won a big game and moved into first and have everybody excited? It just, it just feels good, you know. Uh, you know uh, <laughs> we, we were up, you know, and you know, we work hard. So, you know, when, when things are going our way and feeling good about things, then why not celebrate, you know? Rod, this seemed like tonight that, that Iowa State made a really strong effort, and actually for you too, Angel, that, that they were trying to shut Will down. They, they followed him all over the floor. Did that open some different things for you guys? I feel like I feel like um, Chris Babb guarded me the same way that he guarded me at Iowa State. So, um, and I felt like they guarded Will the same way, you know, but um, you know, other guys got open and, and made shots tonight. And um, I don't think they did anything different. Um, I think we make a difference by, by playing hard and, and playing our game um, because we, we, we don't think we played our game. We, we uh, played at their house, and, um, and I think that was the biggest difference. Thomas, can you talk about your game overall, I mean, especially the last 10 games or so, or even let's go back to the beginning of the season. I mean, you, you seem to be a different player. Is it a confidence thing, or is it just you've been able to work on some moves in practice? What, what's the biggest change for you? Um, it's confidence and and the way uh, my teammates and my coaches push me in practice. Um, you know, I've just been playing hard and just having the right mentality, whether I'm starting or I'm coming off the bench, just coming to make an impact. Uh, Thomas just talked about how he's developed uh, personally over the last couple of months. I'd like to ask Rodney, what about as a team? What's the, what's the difference between now and, you know, after you lost to Michigan and Gonzaga? Where have you developed the most? Coaches have, our coaches have done a great job, you know, just keying in on offense and, you know, trying to get better spacing and things like that because at the beginning of the year, we kind of had trouble when we really played against, you know, bigger and stronger teams of running our motion offense and where guys are supposed to be and spacing and things like that. But they've done a tremendous job of getting us in the right spots and opening things up for us. So that's been the biggest key, you know, of us growing offensively and defensively. Um, Coaches always pushed us, you know, to just go out there and give it our all for 40 minutes on the defensive.